So Zerkezi and Morgenholt are the only two people who ever saw those algorithms. And Morgenholt is dead. And Zerkezi is connected to a mystery guest we know nothing about. Dvorak. Morgenholt and Zerkezi are geeks, not terrorists. Maybe this Dvorak is some kind of puppeteer. No hitter, bottom of the eighth. 2 0, New York in the eighth. The Kiri Watanabe is on the mound. He's pure concentration, pure focus. This is no coincidence. You're on your way to the Big Apple. Bruce Morgenholt and Abrahim Zakezi were partnered together on Project Watson, the UN committee that cracked the mass kernels. They're the ones who discovered 512 encryption, the same encryption used in the messages you recovered at MCAS Bank. If this so-called Dvorak person has somehow gotten his hands on mass-based IW algos, we're in a world of hurt. I've been trying to penetrate Zerkezi's private network since we connected him to this mess. I've seen some tough network security before, and I expected Zerkezi to have top-of-the-line tech, but this is crazy. Zerkezi's server isn't just impenetrable or invisible. It's like, it's like looking for a shadow in a pitch-black room. It's driving me crazy. Things are turning sour in New York. It's been 24 hours since the blackout, and no one has a clue when it might end. We've got sporadic reports of unrest all over Manhattan, but it hasn't started to spill over yet. Word coming down from above is that the National Guard will be deployed within the hour. We'll need to insert you into an alley behind a building adjacent to the target building. Watch out for civilians. Fisher, the National Guard was deployed into Manhattan about an hour ago. I feel safer already. Watch your fire, Sam. Those boys aren't expecting to see you and they'll attack on sight. Do not, I repeat, do not kill any of them. I'll be careful. Good. This thing's a mess! Curious. Someone... Did you see that? Not really sure. National Guard are trying to restore the power to the building's elevator. That's probably your best way to the top. I'll see if I can hitch a ride. It'll be a long climb if you don't.
Fisher, satellite shows you've reached the Casey's building. County clerk's office has construction permits on file for the floors below the penthouse and in the neighboring structure. Any plans or blueprints on file? I'll have Grimm look into it, but with this blackout. I understand. I'll see if I can dig up some plans down here. Good idea. Fisher, that's a hired gun if I've ever seen one. He's no night watchman either. He's a merc. He's got the same kid as the guys who were protecting the Serta. This whole situation is getting uglier by the second. See if you can find out who these characters work for. Will do. What are you doing down here? Ah, who the hell? Off to a bad start. Talk or die. Ah, okay. We're on VIP protection. This floor. Uh, we need to secure it because we can't lock it off from the penthouse. Does the architect or engineer keep an office or a desk down here? Yeah, of course. West side of the building. Since you're doing so well, why don't you tell me the name of the PMC you work for? I... Uh, I work for Displace. Displace International. Displace? That's Doug Shetland's company. I know. Fisher, if Shetland turns out to be crooked... If Shetland is crooked, I'll take him down myself. But I have a feeling there's more to it than that. Could be. See if you can find out who's in charge of this protection detail. Maybe someone inside Displace is playing both sides. You got it. Permits, architectural plans. Interesting. Zerkezi has a hardened panic room off of his bedroom. I'll check it out. Looks like he also filed plans for construction in the next building over. The next building? I'm no architect, but if I'm reading these plans right, both buildings are connected across a rooftop. I'll leave the relevant data on your offset. Should help you navigate. Thanks. Fisher, Zerkezi's cameras project an infrared beam so they can see in the dark. If it's an infrared beam, I can see it in my night vision. Exactly. And listen, it would help us keep tabs on Zerkezi if we could use these cameras against him. Gotcha. I'll try and run some taps. Good work, Fisher. That's one camera tapped. There should be five more. I'll keep my eyes open. Shit, what was that? Stay quiet. It's a long way down to the street. Oh, God! Please, don't! Sounds to me like you know who's in charge of VIP protection here. Yeah, it's Nedich! Mylon Nedich! Was he in charge of the protection detail on Morganhold in Peru as well? Yeah, Mylon handles all displaced VIP protection contracts! Well, he's not very good at it, is he? Please, don't throw me off this roof! Wouldn't dream of it. Mylon Nedich. Echelon's got nothing. He doesn't even exist. Hmm. 
Well, whoever he is, he's playing both sides. We need to inform Shetland. No can do, Sam. We can't compromise OPSEC for private interests. Fine. But if I find Nedich, it'll be less of a problem. Admirable of you to protect your friend, but... You said he doesn't exist. I'm just correcting a bureaucratic error. That's four of six cameras tapped. I'll keep an eye out for the other two. Gotcha. Who? Dvorak. Where is he? According to this, he's in the building next door. You can get there across the rooftop through the magnetically locked doors. How do I get through the doors? They're not magnetically locked anymore. Thanks for the help. How long have you known him? Long time. Long time. He's before this place. Good work on the cameras, Sam. We'll have guys watching Zerkazy 24-7. Always happy to keep the donut dippers busy.
You must be Dvorak. Yes, um, uh, well, Dvorak, huh? I had thought this area was, well, uh, off limits. You're not Dvorak. Well, um, since we're being blunt, well, no. Then who are you? Such a rush you're in. Hmm. Fancy some tea, do you? Lambert, something weird is happening. I'll say. What do I do? The old man seems harmless. Indulge him. See if he knows anything. Reminds me of poor old Jiggers. <laughs> oh, Jiggers. We hardly know you. Who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, well, one might ask you the same. I'm looking for a man named Dvorak. Ah, Dvorak, yes! <laughs> well, you're not going to find one. <laughs> this way! Ah, <laughs> yes, here we are then. This is Dvorak. Jesus. I think I just figured out why you couldn't hack in here, Grim. Uh, yeah, no kidding. What the hell do I do now? Uh, hold on while I find a slide rule. See what the old man knows, Fisher. Okay. If this is Dvorak, who are you? Um, I am Dvorak's keeper. Thank you most kindly for asking. And what is this? This Dvorak? Dvorak is... Well, you likely wouldn't understand. I'm sure you're right. But let's have it for the record anyway. Dvorak is a mechanical representation of a self-referential axiom of number theory. Dvorak encodes its own logical structure within its own executable cycle, and recursively derives a more accurate representation of itself with each successive execution. Right. Grim, did you get that? My god, it's an infinite state machine. Fine. What do I do? If Zerkezi is using this... Grim. Sorry, uh, Sam, we're gonna need a copy of Dvorak's output so we can work out the algorithm it's built on. How do I get its output? It runs on punch cards. Punch cards? You'll need to restart the sequence and initialize each tower in the right order, and then retrieve the output stack. How do I know the right sequence? You'll need to hit the switches in order as the tubes start to heat up. Ask the old man for help. I need your help. I indeed What can I help you with, my good fellow? I need you to help me initialize Dvorak so I can retrieve an output stack. Ah, Dvorak. Well, that is certainly something I can help with. <laughs> Why don't you start it? I'll initialize the towers on this side, and you can do the other side. Eventually, Dvorak will derive the answer, but eventually is a very long time. Alright, I got the stack. Your output stack should Good work, Fisher. Time to make yourself scarce. Get to your primary extraction point. On my way. Holy crap! Got a, got a bad feeling about what the hell was that? 